That's a big thick pot of rabbit meat there. Because they're getting a bit low on food, as am I. I heard coyotes howling away. We're in the final leg of our month-long journey through the remote Newfoundland woods. It's a nature lover's paradise, and we continue to get treated to wild experiences and great peace. Our home now is upon the shores of Kegadek Lake. So our camp's in here. Nice sheltered spot. Hey bear. 45 kilometer gusts behind us coming out of the west, southwest, and uh, we're not even bothered by it. Look at the thick woods back there. It's gonna be a fun to explore. Nice little spot here. A log that was down is a perfect little area for junking some wood and doing some splits here. Just shave a nice little flat portion so the log stays balanced well when I'm splitting it. Beautiful spot. It's a pretty cool area in Newfoundland, right in the heart. Wicked landscape. Lots of thick woods, and there's marshes and big lakes and rivers. We're not far from the Bailenord River. It was alive last night with energy. There was coyotes howling. There was some weird bird I've never heard before making a noise. The lake was snapping and cracking with big pops and booms. Trees were creaking everywhere. Uh, it was a real cool atmosphere. Sitting in the tent last night with the fire cracking. Now it's off to enjoy the day. I made this trail yesterday when I was getting bows, you know. God's gift to us is a mattress in the, in the great outdoors. And as you come back here, like that's a big birch there. Just had a few rabbit snares back here later on. I seen one track, that was it. But if I go a bit deeper in here on this island, there could be some better runs. Okay, I got a little rabbit pen made. Four entrances. Got some birch buds that I cracked off a tree in the center. Let's see if we can thicken up the supper offerings now. Sylvester up there, with the boss having a wrestle out on Keggy Deck. Come on. Let's go. Caribou bat strap. Tonight's supper. A 
I'm back at the pen here this morning, the rabbit pen. Bingo. One for four. The one over there on this side was pulled. So I missed one there. And this one and this entrance over here wasn't touched. But uh, a fair bit of rabbit poop in there. The guy didn't have a feed. But me and the dogs are going to have a feed tonight. Nice one though. So I'm going to reset this one and this one and keep the other two obviously and I'm probably going to make another pen in the area. It seems like there's a few rabbits on the move. Okay I got another rabbit pen. Not far from the last one. Four more snares. One door, two door, three door, four. So where I uh, go to get these rabbits is just behind camp on the island probably a 10 minute walk max I left the dogs back there just because it's a little easier to set these without them roaming around and getting hooked into the snares and everything else now with some fresh wild meat in the bag it's back to camp we got a hot pot of soup going Lipton chicken noodle soup, uh, wood spices and a bit of rice to throw in with the soup. So this morning, in uh, in the first pen I built, I got a snare that was broken off down here. I looked around the area, I can't find a rabbit nowhere. Uh, this one over here wasn't touched. Uh, right here it wasn't touched. And this one here was pulled. So, a bit of action. That's the same snare, see I got the rabbit on uh, yesterday. So maybe I should have replaced it and that's probably why I missed them. And then not far away at the other one, I had no action here, uh, no action here, no action here. But on this one, I got a bunny. Another snowshoe here going in the pot tonight. So I'm gonna fix these up and then we're gonna make a day trip up to Mount Sylvester on skis. Dogs are going to pull me. It's going to be fun.
Day. We're clipping along. Sun's out, and Sylvester's getting closer. Good job, guys. The flies are doing wicked here. Oh, we're in a bit of deep snow here. This way, Zach. Come on, over here. All right, boss, what do you have? We got a Canadian Ranger Patrol uh, from here, Sound Hill Town, and uh, here in Nova. Okay. And we're right on what you call some talking more there. We're right on a prison patrol. And uh, we're just showing our prison for the sovereignty of our country. Yeah, absolutely. How many is there? There's 24 uh, of us here, 25 was here. But we're one of three. And there's 70 uh, rangers on the whole patrol. There's other people gone other different There's ways. one group on Sylvester now. I'll run into them. That's the leadership group. That's the yeah. kid on show with that, so. Where'd you go today, Sylvester? No, some guys went to Sylvester, yeah. Yeah. Some view up there, isn't it? Oh, it's a beautiful spot. Yeah. You can see why Sylvester went there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard to miss it, isn't it? This country, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Well, good stuff, boys. Hope you have a good run today. Staying in lean to tonight, are you? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. under the stairs. I thought it was here. I was just talking about how alone I was. How I can't get at lake, and then geez, 40 old skidoos came around the corner. And now we're having a party. <laughs> Who got all the Pepsis? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right on. The Canadian Rangers are part of the Canadian Armed Forces Reserves, working in remote, isolated, and coastal regions of Canada. The dedicated civilian soldiers provide lightly equipped, self-sufficient support for military and national security, search and rescue, and are also key players in disaster relief. They are currently 5,000 men and women strong across 200 Canadian communities. We've come to visit my old friend, Mount Sylvester. I've been here three times now, and it never gets old. But this is the first winter summit, and looking across the vast country, I see endless frozen lakes, rivers, brooks, bogs, barrens, and forests to explore. It's a great secluded area for those looking to adventure and push their wilderness skills a little further. Other than the usual blowing gale up here, we're given a beautiful day to take it all in. So we're coming down off Mount Sylvester now. 
Great trick. Blowing a gale up there. And now we're going back to camp. Back to home sweet home. Good job guys. They enjoyed it. Great views. I don't know how many dogs have been up on Sylvester, but now they have been. Good job team. Back to home base. Good job. We made good timing there. What were we? About an hour to come back. And it's roughly nine kilometers. I just looked at the map. So it wasn't bad work. But a dog's pulling me. Sylvester is right there at my fingertip. And we left at 11 a.m. And it's now 3 p.m. And we're back. So pretty cool. I think we were up on top of it. Had a day for ourselves, came on back, and we met some uh, some of the boys and uh, and the women and the skidoos. It was awesome. So great day. Now it's time to relax. That's music to my ears now. Bit of leftover rabbit soup. It's gonna be good. It's a delicious start, good feeling start to the day. Now today uh, I'm going to go and cut a few holes and do a bit of ice fishing. Hopefully we could finally hook into a few dandies. Maybe I'll set a few more slips or another rabbit pan or pound. So it'll be good, it'll be a good day. It's beautiful out. To start the day I spend an hour cutting a bit of wood before heading off again to check the rabbit slips. Pork scrunchings frying up there before the rabbit goes in. Two rabbits. Nice. This is going to be good. Big feed. Dogs will get a good serving this evening, too. Another day, another trip back to check the rabbit pens. So, why do I set these pens, anyways? A reason one being snow is hard and crusty right now you can't really see the rabbit trails or runs they're too light they don't make a, a print 
very often. And I don't have to cover near as much ground. I'm doing it that way. Each one's four snares or slits. I don't gotta go all through the woods checking each individual snare. I can go back and I got four in one spot, four in another. And of course you put the birch bark and the, uh, and the birch buds in there, you're pretty much baiting them in as well. Which you can, all, you can add that next to your snares, individual snares, but that works nicely, nicely with uh, a rabbit pen or a cage like that. Four days in a row, we got a bunny. Only one, but we'll take it. We'll get me by it. Checking the pound, 15 in a row, another bunny. I've been coming back to these, this rabbit pen right here and the one that's, I can almost see it from here. It's not that far away. Eight snares and one rabbit every time I come back for the last five days. Now being on the island, I'm sure there can't be too many rabbits here, but there's enough for us to get that meal daily. And it's keep me fed scattered meal for the dogs and we can't complain it's good eating meat every time I've been cooking up a meal I've been mixing it in with uh, pork fat and some oil because as we know rabbits are a very lean meat and it's hard to get by on just that so I fatten it up and we have some good soups it's been welcomed so I'm gonna pick this rabbit up and head on back to camp and get him cleaned up I got another one from yesterday which I haven't cleaned yet, so I'll clean them both and there'll be a couple uh, more rabbits in the pot tonight. For an island of only one kilometer by 150 yards, it was great to see a decent rabbit population and to keep the pot going. Get another rabbit, guys. Hey. Go in there now with your buddy. You can keep more. <gasps> So I drilled some holes there this morning. They've been out now for five hours. Nothing. And I haven't struck anything yet other than uh, one small wananish and a small mud trout or brook trout, whatever you want to call it. In this particular lake in Kegadek, I've drilled ooh, almost 20 holes trying different spots, off points, off islands, uh, in little channels I've tried by the mouth of rivers so that's it doing well with the rabbits and uh, little disappointed I was expecting better but that's the way the cookie crumbles okay get X a big lake you know fish could be anywhere it's almost 10 kilometers in length It's a pretty simple system I use. It's just a hook and a weight and some bait. It's still nice to get out and try your luck. Sometimes it works out and other times it don't. Looks like some coyotes have been marking their territory here. The poop looks to be filled with caribou here and even some bones. We know what they've been eating lately. Breakfast is in order. Got some maple smoked bacon. Gonna make a big thick loaf of bannock. Cheese crumbles in the cold, see? But it holds up. It's delicious. Look at that. This big apple jam is going on this. That's enough. I have a little bit left, I'll ration it out. Save it for another piece of bannock later. Bon appetit.
Um. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, Batman. That's good. That's some good stuff. Wash it down with some uh, fresh slush water from just beneath the cross surface out on Katie Deck and uh, ice cold. Oh, today we got a live bunny. Gonna have to dispatch him. Sorry, pal. Another day, another rabbit. Might as well keep the train rolling. We're doing well with the rabbits on the old island. I'd say we could live off them here. If I put out some more snares and get real serious. But so far, it's enough for a daily meal for us if we wanted it. The last three I've saved up, and they're all gonna go in the pot this evening. And I'll make a big soup, and of course I'll eat a portion of it. And then I'll probably save most of it to feed the dogs over the next couple of days, because they're getting a bit low on food, as am I. That's how it is. One week left in the trip. Dogs are getting a special treat for supper night. Some caribou liver. No, no, no. You're next. Don't eat out of there. Beer's digging into our little liver delicacy meal there now. So I'm just here now, whipping up my last bannock of the trip. It's a great filling meal. So we got a bit of snow last night, about 10 centimeters. Uh, it was blowing hard, gusts up to 65, 70 kilometers last night, but we're nice and sheltered here on our island. And the winds were dead east, the only spot where we're kinda exposed but we're, we're in probably 50 yards, and there are some trees out there on the edge of the lake. We were hardly bothered. Unlike earlier in the trip when we got smashed with the winds, and I thought the tent at any moment was going to lift up and go on. So it's another few days in this location. Maybe not even. I think today, tomorrow, and then the following day we'll start our trek out of 45 odd kilometers. I'm going to try to do it in two days, but it may take three depending on weather and with this new snowfall we've gotten for the for the journey home back out over the the marshes and across the Beta Nord River back up over Middle Ridge, which is going to be a bit of a challenge again and then down over the other side across Great Gull Lake out to Berry Hill Pond where we'll meet Heather. So I'm looking forward to that. Well, it's been a good trip. It's been relaxing. I've enjoyed it. To get in and take some time at different camps and, you know, we've done a bit of hunting and some mostly unsuccessful fishing and explored the area and seen Sylvester. And it's been great. So that's it. Piece of bannock. Wash it down with some tea. Here. Sack. Oh. Oh. Oh, sack. That took a tough bounce there. Barry got lucky. Here you go. Good bannock, isn't it? Had a couple feeds of meat so far. This one's the big dog. That's a big, thick pot of rabbit meat there. Three rabbits. Add a drop of oil now to fatten it up.
Well, I've had the pops up to the old rabbit pens today. Struck out on both of them. I wouldn't say the rabbits were moving too much last night in the stormy weather. But that's all right. We ended up getting a couple more yesterday. Eight in total. Not bad for the two pens. And uh, your bad luck, boys. <laughs> the dogs. Nah, I'm only kidding. Uh, so we're leaving now tomorrow. It's time to take these up. It's been a slice here on the island. It's time to begin the trek back home. Sit. Come on, bear. Come on, Seth. The day before leaving, I have a scary incident, and the saw slips while cutting wood. It leaves a nice gash in my wool pants, but thankfully not my leg. I mend it up with needle and thread. Is that a coyote? But around 6.30, I heard coyotes howling away just on the back of the island, nowhere. I went on for an hour. That was enough for me. Curiosity kicked in, I had to go see. And I went up to shore, about a five minute walk, to a little narrow spit on the tip of the island. And I had seen a pile of coyote shit on it, full of caribou here. Anyways, I could see way out in the middle of the lake, a coyote moving at a good pace, you know, right over the top of the snow across the lake and he was going on. You can see my tracks probably. Where I walk down and walk down and just, you can see right through there. And then you can go on to the next part of the lake. And that's the mound I was at when I seen him. He was moving quick. <laughs> oh my. It's never a dull moment out here. Really wish I could have shown you. My good Canon camera's been dead for five or six days now. And the GoPro was as well, and I had it out. The morning sun was just creeping over the hills, and I put the solar, the solar panel out, and I tried to give it a quick charge before I went over there, but it didn't work out. Camera batteries have a hard time lasting out in the cold, especially when you're out for a month. So, sun's blazing now, and I set the panel up when I got back, and there was no trouble to get the battery back up and running again. <laughs> Packing down camp now, and we're gonna make our way onward. What do you say guys? Ready to get moving again? Let's go. Now it's the first week of March and in Newfoundland spring can touch down at any time with warm temperatures and heavy rains. I have seven days until I must catch a flight so it's time to get a move on and beeline back to the road. Giddy up, let's go. And that's the track of the lone one. The loner. Oh, they had a leak over here. So I could just took a pee there too. Here, you're gonna mark your territory. Yeah. Yeah, you show them who's boss bear. Bit warm. I'm down to my base layer here now. Still sweating. The going's not so good as it was when we came up, keg your dick. You know, nine or ten days ago, whatever it was. A bit of snow we had got powder in sections, so that makes it a bit more strenuous, but there's wind pack in spots, so I'm trying to stick to those as best I can. Okay boys, four hours in. A little clump of trees over there looks like a good spot to boil the kettle. Sit back have a lunch.
go. Nice to sit back. Give the old legs a break. Pups are taking little lie downs back there too. It's great to have an open fire too for a change. I'm gonna have a piece of pepperoni now. Last bit I got left. The kettle looks to be just about boiled. I'm gonna throw a couple or a tea bag in there. And that'll be that. So, mm. great view here at a open marsh is what it was in the summer or what it is, marshland. And she's gone. I tried to race there, but I didn't make it. That's it. Good night. Okay, we're just up on uh, Middle Ridge. Got our sled back. Our old campsite's in there. It's been a good day. We got up over the back of the ridge. The dogs helped me big time. I had both of them lashed on, pulling me. 18 kilometers left to get to the road where Heather's gonna pick, a, pick us up. Probably end up covering something like 23, 24 kilometers. It'll be a big day. Tomorrow, they're calling for rain and crappy weather. So I'm glad I made the hustle to get out when I did. Inching closer to the finish, I reflect on more great experiences in the undisturbed, seldom seen places of our province's wilderness. It was a hell of a trip, and our legs are satisfied. We'll see you in Labrador for the next month-long adventure. came to Labrador for. Hi. Hi. Hopefully she keeps it up. Helps me out. Nice pot of strong tea ready to go. The white stuff's piling up pretty quick. 